let's not beat about the bush. I bought some stuff. I'm here to show you. <laughs> Uh, I know that I also did an unboxing last week, but in my defense, I split these up into two videos, all right? Links will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. This first one is a bag. 100% blame goes out to Sean Garrett. He posted a picture with this bag and I was like, oh, I need it, I need it and I need it now, okay? So <laughs> I then found out that it was on pre-order everywhere you couldn't actually get your hands on it until it was it was they were quoting shipping times of like october so i had resigned myself to being like okay let me just get a pre-order or let me just wait whatever and then guess what i was scrolling through farfetch and what do i see farfetch once again comes to the rescue um this uh, part of the video is sponsored by farfetch we know farfetch very well on this channel i've been working with them for what is going to be three years in a couple of months time that is insane um but very grateful to still be working with them and all of that one of the best things about farfetch is that because they have access to all these boutiques um, and, and department stores and all of that and brands all over the world, you really get such a great range of items. So where everywhere else it had either been sold out because this is from Jacques Mousse's fall winter collection, okay? And he does drop a small number of pieces right when the collection comes out, but then once that's gone, then you're gonna have to wait until the back end of the year. So this came from a boutique in France, Capsule by Esso. Shout out to them because um, I was foaming at the mouth over this and I had to have it. I've spoken about Access, their loyalty scheme, a number of times, but it really does, they basically give you rewards for buying on Farfetch. Those rewards can range from discounts to early access to the sale, stuff like that. It's great. Uh, the other thing that I love is that if there is a brand that really lives and breathes sustainability, then you will see this little word that says conscious on top of the, the brand to let you know that this brand is, you know, really has a huge focus on sustainability, which I also love. So shout out to Farfetch. Thank you for sponsoring this part of the video. Let me show you what is inside. Hold on, hold on. It's not ready yet, it's not ready yet. Let me undo the stuffing. There we go. Oh, she's glistening. She's glistening, she's glorious. Silent screen. It is um, like one of those fold down little paper bag lunch bags. And you know, I'm very much in my food container era of bags. I love the patent rich metallic it looks wet it looks molten this oh my god i can see my face in it you know not that well but it's there i can see that i have one you then also have i love the mix of metals oh there's more plastic i love the mix of metals on it you've got the gold sphere on one end and the square cube on the other and this one also has jacquemus uh debossed in it and then you have in gold the Jacquemus metal logo on the front. Then to open, it's a clutch, it's a clutch vibe, obviously. I like the fact that this part of it is quite hefty. Like she's got a little bit of weight there, nothing uncomfortable. And then the rest of the bag is really light. So again, you, you have that sort of metallic um, patent coming into the bag and then you have a canvas interior. There is a pouch there that you can put the odd card, a little leather plaque that says um, Jacques Mousse, and then the rest of it is just a hole, okay? And I am absolutely living for this. In terms of like a casual clutch, because obviously she can do day and night, okay? Get your girl that can do both. In terms of a casual clutch, I would really say my only other competitor bag-wise is the Fendi First. And as we've discussed previously, she's more of like an autumn winter girl. This, I feel like, I'm sorry, that? Phenomenal. I'm in sweatshorts, so... <coughs> the coffee's gone. Back at it. Okay, ignore my little sweatshorts, but I just love how rich and wet and patent and glorious it is. She's going to look great for a dinner. She's also going to look great if I'm just trying to look fabulous and um, 
don't mind one of my hands being occupied running around town. But this is just so unique, so fun, interesting, very me. I might have to use it today. I'm going for dinner with a friend. I'm definitely going to use it today. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down the subscribe channel on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, next up is a piece from a brand that I wouldn't necessarily like I've been keeping tabs on a lot because it's not necessarily my vibe fully, but hear me out, Tom Brown. But I've always really loved the Tom Brown skirts. You know, I love a little pleated mini skirt. It's that schoolgirl vibe. And I thought the time has come. They tend to do these in lots of different fabric variations. This one is a wool one. There's a couple of reasons why I love this. First of all, you've got the Tom Brown four stripes on the side, pleated skirt. The step hem is fantastic. You have also these little peaks of, again, very Tom Browny tape going on there. But just that the fact that the back of it is a little bit longer, I really enjoy. Sometimes I do get a little bit self-conscious with some skirts because I'm like, God forbid I drop something, everybody's getting a show. Even just that little, what is that? Inch and a half, two inches gives me some level of comfort, but I do love this. I got this in a size 40. Tom Brown, New York brand. Very excited to wear this for a fall winter moment. Oh my gosh, she's gonna look so cute with a pair of tights and my Renee Calvilla snake boots, you know the ones. Okay, she's out every year. Let's ignore my arts and crafts project in the back. Do we see? It's just like really, and the fact that I scratched my wall, shh. Okay, do we see that it's just so easy there's little step hem swinging. Yes, she needs a steam. Let's ignore. So cute. Also, I hate the fact that I just told you that I'm resigning her to fall winter just because she's a wool. Okay, because this, if this was white, oh my gosh, gallivanting out in the sun right now. So cute. I love this. I can see me getting a hell of a lot of wear out of it. Fun, fabulous. Also, look at this. It's got like this little underskirt that looks like little boxes. So, you know. Should you be caught in the wind? No Marilyn for us, my loves. Okay, Nina Ritchie. If you are unaware, Nina Ritchie has recently had a new creative director start, Harris Reed. So I was once again scrolling through Farfetch and I was like, oh, let's have a look at this new Nina Ritchie collection. And a lot of the pieces are insanely wearable and would just slip right into a wardrobe. And I really liked them. And at the moment I'm in my shirt era and I saw this shirt and it was the cuffs that got me. They're giving sort of like um, Morticia Adamsy. They shoot out longer than the hands, which I love. It's a pussy bow blouse, so you can keep this long. Okay, she's like giving Mozart a little bit. It's just a really beautiful cotton poplin shirt, clearly needs a steam. Because of the fact that it's quite dramatic with the sleeves, I want to wear this with a simple skirt, like my Patu A-line skirt that I got recently, something very simple so that it balances out the look. Really love this. What size have I got? Nina Richard Little Hanger there, all appreciated. 38. This also not tucked in with a pair of leggings in the wind, well autumn, you know what I mean. I feel like that's also a fabulous vibe. I look like I'm about to compose a fire banger. <laughs> Okay, so do you see what I mean about the sleeves, okay? They're dramatic, they're fun. This is also dramatic and you know, you could just have it as the two pieces floating down. I know that you're excited, sir. It's a great shirt, thank you. But I love it because there's a lot happening here to keep it very simple here and then just with a fun pair of little princessy heels. So this is another top, a very different top. This is from the Attico. And as we know, the Attico tends to be a bit dramatic. And so here we basically have a t-shirt that has the shoulders of an NFL quarterback, <laughs> linebacker. Absolutely no idea. I just wanted to say that they had broad shoulders, but I wanted to make an, uh, an American reference. I hope you understand. Uh, yeah, basically really big shoulder pads. You can detach them, I believe, hold on. Yes, you can detach them in case you don't want the Uncle Festa vibe all of the time. Understood. Okay, sometimes you're just not in the mood for it. V-neck, I also really like the collar on this, that it's ribbed at the back and then it does not have a collar coming down. 
you have the little Attico embroidery and essentially it's just a massive oversized t-shirt. This is a size 40, but the thing that sold me on this comes in a few different colors was the styling. They styled this with a pair of leggings and you know me, hook, line and sinker add to cart. This with leggings and heels done. This with leggings and trainers in that like nice little October-y weather. It's just gonna give like a little bit of pizzazz and unexpectedness to something as so simple as a top and leggings, you know? I'm wearing the wrong bra with this, but you get the vibe. She's fun, she's fashionable, she's comfy, but she looks cool, no? It looks way better tucked in. Also, this is it without the shoulder pads. You see, it looks a little bit like pajama top otherwise but it's very cool and i do like it again you know i like all of that this business next up is a piece that i've actually had for a couple of months but i've been a bad youtuber and i haven't told you this is an uh, this this is a, a duplicate a duplicate and uh, yes i have this in the red and green and i am obsessed with these trousers so much that i was like i saw this this color is called the navy cast had to have it these are the cotton citizen london pant they are a straight you know pretty wide leg they are so comfortable i love them they almost have like a satiny finish they're very soft i love the dye on these cotton citizen is a brand that is actually like focused on dye i think that's like their sort of first and foremost what they do with regards to these you're going to want to go two sizes down i got a 25 in these and that's perfect comfortable like not tight at all i'm never usually one that buys duplicates of things so if i do it's like i'm obsessed like the frame cargo pants had to buy another one these now also had to have another join the family next up a little bit of gooch i was randomly what was it oh it was pride weekend and i had walked past the new gucci store in uh meatpacking and i went inside and i was served by a lovely english man anyway and randomly i saw these sunglasses which i have a feeling that i've seen before just like in general so i don't think they're a new style but this is the first time i tried them on and it was one of those like yeah Thank you very much. Absolute perfection. Nice big Gucci box there with the, uh, thank you very much, the cleaning thing. These are very dapper down, okay? I look like I own a record label. They're phenomenal. They really are. So they have the GGs. Do you see? Is this showing up? You have the GG monogram in the lens. And then on top of that, right, it's all like black lacquer. You've got the gold down the sides. They are huge. I did these sunglasses with the t-shirt and those cotton zits and trousers. And I just love, once again, you can't do too much with this. You can't do this in like a very loud over the top outfit. And you can do, but personally, the best thing with these is to wear quite a low key outfit and just hit it with the sunglasses and just be like, and what? I think these are actually in the men's section as well. And I am just, come on loud luxury own it love it this year has been we've, we've really had quite the jeans saga i did a whole video on the quest for the perfect jean i don't know i was struggling and then following that i bought a couple of pairs of the levi's 90s 501 jeans really love that style on me only issue is that it's more of a mid-rise and i uh, i'm not too much of a fan of where that cuts me off so i was clicking around the internet and i saw these i don't even know how we got there but the way these looked on the model, I was like, they better make me look like that in real life. I, and I ordered them actually in the hope that I would hate them because these are not cheap jeans. They're gonna come, they're not gonna fit me anything like the model, I know it. Okay, they're either gonna be too small or I'm going to look horrendous. Okay, because I don't have the same body shape as the model. Oh gosh, I put them on and I was like, oh, they're so good. <laughs> These are the R13 Jane Pant. The wash is also really great. Um, it's just like a really lovely wash with like a tiny bit of distressing, you know, down the sides and on uh, the front. 
It's a zip up as well, thank God. I got these in a size 28. Uh, Hester Blue Stretch. In the composition online, check that it says 98% cotton, 2% elastane. That 2% is gonna really be the thing that comes in handy. These are going to be my heels jeans. My last pair was from La Jeance, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I ruined them in the wash. Okay, I accidentally put them in the tumble dryer. They ended up looking like three quarter lengths. Okay, they were skimming my knees. I ruined them. So these are going to be my new jeans with heels, for heels, and this with a pointed heel, with a snout. She's a little bit sexy. I don't know what to tell you. I don't make the rules, but they look absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so this is not necessarily the top that I would have worn with this, but I'm lazy and this is the top I'm wearing later. So <laughs> these are the jeans, phenomenal. And do you see what I mean about the sexy little point? Nee, your thoughts on the jeans? Great. This is from a concept store in Meatpacking called Two Minds. I said to the one, I was like, oh, you know, I might be interested in some jeans. And she picked out, she was like, oh yeah, these are really cool, these are really cool. And to be very honest with you, I was like, I'm gonna hate them all. This is the style, based on the name, that I thought was going to really look horrendous. These are the A Goldie Low Slung Baggy. I've just told you, I'm a high rise girly. What am I doing with low slung? The, uh, these also size 27. I know that they're meant to be worn low rise, baggy, very cool Y2K, I get it. But I'm going to actually have these tailored high rise because they look great high rise. And then I'll wear these casually with sneakers. Okay, so this is where they want it to be, right? Low slung baggy. This is what I'm going to be asking for, okay? We nip it in, we make her high waisted, Easy, cool. But there we go, and now no more jeans. There are, there are wide legs. No more jeans now, I'm done, I'm happy. There should be absolutely no more, all right? Jeans chapter closed. Thank you very much for being with me on this journey. I have one more thing to tell you about. These were a extremely kind gift. She did not ask me to talk about it. I'm just very passionate about them because I love them and I want to share. I don't know if you've noticed, but in some of my videos I've been wearing these beautiful white enamel hoops. I don't know if you can also see. They have diamonds at the top, white enamel. These come in loads of different colors and these are by Susanna Martins, who you know is the designer behind this unstoppable ring. These are the unstoppable hoops. They are light. They're beautiful, they're fabulous, they can be worn casually, they can be dressed up. She is just fabulous and wonderful and far too generous for her own good, um, but I just wanted to tell you. Hope you enjoyed this haul. What was your favourite item? Thank you so much to Farfetch for sponsoring part of this video. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.